Come on, CJ. Yeah, yeah, boy. That's not held up. <laughs> I like that one, pumps the legs. <laughs> the referee is it right down there and there. I didn't see that. Look, look. He's right in there, right in there. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. That's it. And he only got a one year contract. Had he's pro when he was wrong. Come on, Johnny. I know you can get this. Come on, Johnny. One for the flats, Johnny. Go on. Go on, yeah, boy. Yes, indeed. Scott's bringing on enforcements. <laughs> I'd love to see Johnny play in the World Cup. We need him in the World Cup. That's the truth, we do. Yes, man. Oh. Did <laughs> your blade mistake on hers? He missed. He missed. He missed. Ah! <laughs> There's no smile there. Soldier 
There he is. Six Nations Championship campaign. Already been beaten by the Welsh and the French. They don't want it happening again. I wonder what Warren Gatlin has made of what he's seen so far. It'll come up on the left and right away. Head injury. No, he's not, he's gas. He's not, he's gas. <laughs> This is 
for a cat to have as much experience of playing on the blind side. Here's Maitland. Look at the grand Scotland of gain on set piece and just a couple of passes. Away goes Van der Merwe, shrugs off Pearls, but not Henshaw. And look at Henshaw, the body language. That's it, Henshaw. It's good for Maitland. It's great cover from Henshaw, but it's very, very lateral defence. Ringrose does get across, but they just allowed the Scots to run <laughs> so far forward there. That's it, Henshaw. Proper, proper Viking Irish against a scum. <laughs> no, it's not bad as yet. We'll do this to you all day long. Any time. Bring it on. It's about leadership now. Come on, Orl. Let's see how they stand up. Can't even say Paul O'Connell's on the bench because he's does a job now. <laughs> well, he's up there. Give them an order, O'Connell. Ryan 
Eric will be holding a two-man head here. Closer once again, Stander trying to see it all. Price looks left and right. He wants options. And carry from Haney. And Roman Pott takes another tumble. Yeah, he's tumbling again. <laughs> Almost over close. there. Simon Bergen heavily involved. Hamish Watson wrestled back from the line by Andrew Porter. Now, was that grounded? Yeah, I think he's got there. I think his wrestle is gone. Wrestle is broken. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's given. Is he given a try here? What will he do with the whistle when he has it replaced? <sighs> He's never scored a try in the Six Nations Championship, Hamish Watson. This will be a time to change that. scores that Jeff. Yeah. That's a try for me. It does remarkably well. Let's see it here. Doesn't lose control of the ball. Doesn't get it down there, but there. Yeah, that's a try. Brilliant work from Watson. For you. Marvin couldn't yeah. keep him out. So I never know, I never saw the player of the board, so you can stay on looking this first try. Okay. Well, Scotland are gonna have a conversion to go level. He's having a brilliant championship, Hamish Watson. And in his fifth appearance against Ireland, he's got a crucial try. And 14 points off, Ireland were in firm control of this test match. Yeah, they sure were. They've got to look back at this, and uh, if it stays like this, or if potentially if Scotland goes on and win it, they have that momentum now. Oh, had a lot of regrets. And uh, we got to credit Scotland. They've they've come back into it. They're all 14 points down, as you say, and uh, they changed the whole flow. It's a long way from the six down to the six. Ryan Gale taking his second set on the commander pitch. A bit of a mismatch there for Ali Price. Yeah, he's wrapped up there, and Henderson locks on then. You are eating, lad. Eating. <laughs> eating up. He's saying, Fucking sex, man. Fucking three Irish fucking dudes. Fucking pulp me, you fucking pop, man. Pulp me, you fucking pop, man. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Don't do over Dublin, do over Ireland. Come on, Johnny. Come on, the nose, the breath. Now we need the kick. You bleeding beaut, you beaut. The mouth, the camera can't go mad. Look at When we need Johnny, Johnny delivers. Now it's time for you to do his own work, boys. Come on, James. Come on, gang. Come on, guys. For the first time today, they build. Kelleher. No, 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 no. Keeps on moving forward. 
Look what I'm boxing him in the head! Come on, Orlin, get them. Come on. Yep. That's it. That's it, Henshaw. Good job, Lil. Good leadership, Johnny. Good leadership. Of honor. Brilliant, first and foremost, brilliant uh, Ireland got the win and credit because there was huge pressure on that game. But seriously, I don't think we need to make it as hard as we did in terms of the 65th minute. We were a lot more passive in defense. We gave them a lot of opportunity to, to get in the field where they were dangerous. Yeah, we would have done a better of your playing, would we? Would you stop Warriors? Scots, the Scots are Warriors. And we're warriors, the Irish are warriors. And I'm Irish. Irish Vikings. They're Scottish Vikings. And Ireland got so lost there. No, we didn't get lost. We won. Did we? But then we beat them. <laughs> yeah. We should have done a bit better. We won. No one, no. Lads, you are just false nails. False, false nails. Ah, uh, Hog was a pain in the ass. Hog was a pain in the ass <laughs> today. Good blah. But he's not Irish. As the lads. Yeah, Jersey boy. No, some boys. Great game, great game. Great, great, great game, lads. Boys are being. Stand of honor. Now they have the stand. Don't they yeah, here lads. <laughs> well they are Toig. Good game, Toig.
You chipped or you Can't wait. I'm gonna beat them. And Smith and Ann, not for the first time, Johnny Sexton stood up when the chips were down and more than delivered once again. A win for Ireland pops in the panel in just a second. Fuck the panel. There's the man there, the man with the plan, Johnny Sexton himself. Look at the nodes, look at the eye. Then what does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Stood up when the chips were down and more than delivered once again. A win for Ireland pops from the panel in just a second. Man of the moment. I'm just trying to stick to, stick to your process. Uh, we've got enough in here today to swirl and win, so just try and uh, pick your line and, and bang it up the... <laughs> fair play, Johnny. Fair play. You had a 24 10 lead, and obviously, it comes right down to the death. You're shaking your head. Is there some frustration there that you didn't close that game out before? Yeah, it's the same, it's the same old story sometimes with us. Uh, we're, we're just letting in soft tries, uh, tries that you know just isn't acceptable at an international level, and it's, it's frustrating because. Yeah. <laughs> the Irish Lions, huh, Johnny? The Irish Lions. You should have got two, yeah? Not year, two. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it season at a time, but I'm really enjoying my rugby. I'm loving the coaching uh, in, in the Irish setup. The coaching. The we league. need you at the World Cup, Johnny. You know what I mean? Sign that second contract. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Twenty-four. So, uh, sorry, you're right. Excuse me. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. Yeah. So sorry, we're missing the key points. Okay. So what you see here. Is Ryan Bird and Ned Henderson unbelievable pressure? Johnny said in his interview, I think for a second or two he had to hold his breath, but there, I think I'm absolutely convinced you fifth minute and he's able to do that because there isn't anyone else you want doing that. It's a great effort by Bird, first off, second effort. Look at the bounce to feed out after Henderson and forward after 75 minutes. His capacity is to strength to lift up and not flop onto. The easy thing there, Joe, is to jump on him and concede the penalty. No, he lifts it, gets the ball, penalty, and then. As he's been doing for a kick of the day, and that and that's what big players do. I think if there's anyone you wanted at that moment, it, it, it was Johnny. I just think he can do that in the first half. He's as well. He's that good. Every time there's a penalty on the pitch, it doesn't matter if it's in front of the post or it's the touchline. This guy will get it. It was interesting when he got to push it nicely to the middle. But that's that's what happens. And convinced, you know, he he had it on a string all day. And 
for that one, you could see the flight of the ball was probably a little bit low, so he pushed it a little bit. But because he's so good and has such control over it, that, that margin of error came in because he probably played for a little bit of wind as well. Okay. So it's kind of some points, but uh, good call. And the you did say there. kick for the post. The second penalty gun is your, this carry here. Incredible carry. Gets over the game. Now look at the clear out. James Ryan comes in and buries a fella and then... But we didn't need to kick with the pulse, what you were saying. It's difficult when you're this close to do other than a pick and go. But in fairness to Roman, what? You can't ask him to get it any closer than that. Because uh, it was it was questionable <laughs> to see whether or not is it a try. But just the intent of getting around the corner from Connors and then the clear out allowed for a quicker ball then for... Uh, we're not going around the corners anymore. We're going through them. Just uh, crucial to get the points after deciding not to go for the three. Absolutely. Don't ever listen to Shane Evans. He's wrong. The, fat, the big fella. Don't listen to him. Score and play on quick. And then they just create some really great rugby. One phase. Now watch this play here. Out the back, out the back. And then there's an overlap. But you've got to say that that tackle. That's a wonderful run. That's a wonderful ah, run. Ah, you're right with the Scots. I hate to pick on James Lowe because he's a lovely guy, but that is just not acceptable at international rugby. But this is really quality play from Scotland to create some space. There's James Lowe there. They've got a man on man. They've got Nolan and have got numbers. You just can't reach out shoulder height. Maybe he took a few yeah, words, take a dive. Of course a good... We don't let a scar in like that. Too easy. Look, I don't forever. Yeah, exactly. And Amish Watson gets over. Watch it here. You really want the guys coming off the bench to, to work from the blind side. You'll see Kilcoin and it was Conan for a lot on the blind side, but it was coming and it was coming and we were honey potting. But credit to Hamish Watson. We said before he's a very strong, powerful carrier. And to have that body fight and those close contacts, that was up against prop forwards and to be able to get it down, I don't think you can argue. It looked like there may have been a fumble initially, but good finish and then you're going, ah, oh, jeepers, look where we are after we seem to be in control. But, but I think, to be fair, it, it, was, uh, it was the way the game was going and they deserved it because... Hi Andy, uh, another really peculiar game. <laughs> What's your immediate feeling? Uh, uh, is it one of uh, relief? Well, I, I suppose, I suppose he shouldn't be. He Andy Farrell should not be. You know, to 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 lose a fourteen point lead like we did. The management of Ireland. It should be an Irishman. Um, it was probably. And then his son is the captain of England. No, that's wrong. They're a strong group group together, and that's what they were. They were together, especially. We have to see more of you, Andy. That's his football, a family force. Have the composure to, to get the right kick off, to get the right pressure, uh, and uh, and get the ball back and for Johnny to nail that. An English manager so doing an Irish manager's job. So, I don't yeah, get I don't get that. Yeah, and uh, as you said there, we brilliant the Irish managers so, here. At one stage in that game, what should the team have done at that point? Uh, or have we to close it out? Well, you know, after after uh, every every try uh, that that you score, uh, the next thing to do is the, is the next job and be clinical with your exit and. Um, the, uh, the the kickoff didn't go to plan. Um, you know we we uh, we had not strayed away, and we just invited them access into into our twenty two. And you know with all the fight that we showed defending our, our own line, eventually eventually it broke. Um, but how we reset after after those defensive sets was 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 pretty special. And could you get any messaging on that twenty four all under the post? Uh, and what was it? Messaging, next job, next job. It has to be. Um, we, we've got to apply pressure, you know, because there's still there's still time, obviously, to, to to win the game. In fact, there was still time for Scotland to win the game, wasn't there? In the last two minutes, and I thought we defended obviously uh, in, in that regard as well. So there are lads that are hanging on in the uh, limb wise uh, as far as injuries are concerned, and there was two or three of them that were um, that that were struggling a little bit, but they dug in for the shirt this evening. Any doubts when Johnny Sexton stood over the ball in the last couple of moments? Do you know what? I hadn't, um, simply because he's been kicking really, really well in, in practice. He's, he's as good as I've seen him uh, with the boot of, of late. In the captain's run yesterday, yeah, I don't think he missed a kick. And in the warm-up, he was exactly the same. So, practice makes perfect. As you said, there was a bit of a mixed bag today. Uh, what do you take into the England game, huge game coming up next week, and what do you leave behind? 
Well, we were good in parts, you know, and certainly um, defensively we were strong in parts, and then the, but defense has to be always, you know. Um, you can't slip off tackles, otherwise you, 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 you're seven points gone. So James is the wrong person for the job. Uh, be better. Uh, we got a few, uh, quite a few turnover balls in that first half, but we needed a bit more composure on the ball, you know, instead of, instead of uh, panic, etc. And uh, I thought we could have managed uh, our exits a little bit better in the middle. Keep third. James in his original, uh, but, original uh, spot. Like I've just said to the players in there, they should be proud. It's, it's a tough place to come. They're a good Scottish side. It's a tough place to come uh, to win at Murrayfield and uh, we'll take that victory. Thanks a million, Andy. Cheers, thanks. Andy Farrell in his coaching tenure. I mean, the difference between facing down England and Dublin next week with just one win, three defeats, versus two wins, two defeats is enormous for him. Uh, it's massive. Massive for, for that coaching team. And I, I, I think Andy and Mike Catt, who's the attack coach, coming under severe pressure uh, a loss today will would have you know really made a, a horrible horrible week for them mm -hmm. and for the team you know yeah, they really didn't they didn't want to do that going into England and uh, you know and, and you've got to you know, if their head coach it's a results driven business they won and they found a way as he said in that last few seconds after that restart they did exactly what the coach said the next job what was the next job the restart they put it down the 22 and blocked it out, and they did what the coach said. You know, in all this, Joe, over the weekend, I've got to give credit to the officials because there was a lot of tries there that, like that one, even the Irish try, was it a knock on from Keith, from Keith Earls backwards? Was the ball grounded? Toja yesterday was the ball grounded? It was. And the officials got a lot of plays under pressure in the last moments right. And I think that's a really good thing for the game. Yeah, no doubt we'd be moaning. Orgel would join us as well. A tough old bruising encounter this game and in the end Ireland have got the job done. Short break back in a second. Making our way through the stats here. Match would look at that and say in a whole host of areas, carries and meters made and possession, all very similar. I suppose that makes sense. It was a tight game. Line outs jumps out. Line outs is crucial there for me because it's obviously a source of possession and especially the Scottish one where there's six steals from uh, Ireland and that, that weren't they weren't Scottish errors it was one under front the rest of that was really good Irish um, defensive line out work from Paul O'Connell and Ronan pointed out to us in the break there look at the number of missed tackles from Ireland 22 now that's a worry that that's not good uh, only six to Scotland, so that's something that really needs to tighten up for next week. But it, but again, Paul O'Connell's defensive lineout has. Yeah, and if you can look when the screen comes up here, so obviously in what are people are in a kind of a nervous position. You're in your 22, but as Ronan highlighted before the game, one of the best attacking opportunities may be in your 22. You see, look if you look at the amount of Scottish players in and around that rook and on the blind side, there is an opportunity to actually go wide, but yet. Like in the clip before the game against France, Lowe's used for his left foot. Again, now there's a kick here. But look at the amount of space. Instead of actually kick doing that box hit, there's two Scottish fellas. Is that Hag out in the very, very far uh, right-hand side of the picture? So whether it's a lack of communication coming in, I don't really care where the black box is there. I'm more over in the left-hand side of the picture. Look at the Irish players. There's one, two, three, four, five to maybe three Scottish players. Now, we're not lined up perfectly for it. We don't have the depth for it. But it's because it's probably not in our thought process. Again, look, we have an option there for a crossfield kick to number three, but we still have space, and they're quite narrow. But yet we take it into context. So I do think there's opportunities for us to put the ball out the back and to get it into a wider position. And um, you saw in the second half. Well, it is straight away, and and I, I felt basically since Devon Tona has been left out of the Irish side with all his intergenerational wisdom on the line out that our defensive line out and our line out calling had really diminished and Paul coming back in with his great library of knowledge on the line out has had an immediate effect in, in my observations and even though the, um, the game has changed enormously set play is still so important and we saw that in the last act yeah. the, the restart Scotland couldn't play he's a fellow who looks like he's just at his peak in terms of got the right amount of experience and his body's in great nick and he's flying He's got a change up, doesn't he? Um, which we probably haven't appreciated or seen in quite some time. When I say a change up, it's it's when he gets the ball, that burst of extra bit of pace or power. Um, I think we all remember his try against France last year when he went down the blind side, and he's just continued on with that form. But his championship has been really, really impressive. And today he, he really stood up because 
we need people like that stepping up and uh, it's stuff like where you see his carry is very very good but the hunger now to get across and he starts giving your man a bit of lip but it means so much to him that's a great shot and put him into touch like and then his follow up for his try like everybody says like it's very hard to coach or uh, incur instill effort and passion into someone he just had it and it showed today but he wasn't the only person that was the exciting thing about it as well like he did have a, a brilliant game but even Ronan's point here you see the try this is this is just brilliant look at his head and the ball commitment putting hog one of the best in the game under that kind of pressure and then just a work rate uh, at this place here a lot of people say oh yeah I'll probably roll on and We'll see how it goes with that keep do it but then following up and he's getting his awards but it's down to him but also i think for the environment far is great and... okay ronan my thanks to you and to matt and shane as well here in the studio the news is next on all three games back to back and version media one and the version media player ireland england catches the eye wales going for a grand slam in paris join us from half past one on saturday <laughs>